Everybody, it's finally freaking here. Signal is releasing usernames, and no, I don't mean quarter three, 2024. I mean, it is now here. You can download them. Granted, it is in beta, but I already did it. Um, I didn't do anything special that no one here can't do also. You can just go ahead and register for the beta and sign up and get a username. And the sign-up process is pretty simple. So you just go into your settings, and you're just going to go through the setup process to claim a username. By default now on Signal 2, your phone number won't be shared when you do this. So uh, actually we have some group chats and we've been testing this out with some different people who also have the beta. And it seems like it's a little bit iffy, I will say that. And I'll talk about the caveats in a second here. But if things work properly, uh, you'll actually pull up someone's profile in the group chat and it just shows their profile. And then there really is nothing else. There's no phone number that's shown up. And this is probably the biggest criticism of Signal. And I wanna clear something up right away, which is, is there still a phone number requirement? There is is. So first off, what this is doing is just hiding your phone number from the general public, allowing you to set up a username so that you can contact other people. What it won't remove is the phone number requirement in the first place, which if that's an issue for you, valid. Sure. If you don't like that, great. Um, the only thing I'll say to that is you can set up a VOIP number very easily. Signal does not really discriminate phone numbers very much. So as long as you can get a phone number, it probably will work with Signal. The other thing I'll say too here is that there is a valid reason for them using phone numbers and it's to prevent spam. It is a free service and a lot of other services that don't have a phone number requirement have spam issues. So again, take that with a grain of salt. If your threat model can incorporate some kind of personal uh, messenger that requires a phone number, but now does not send that phone number freely to everybody definitely i think consider signal it's the same situation as telegram at the moment which is you can register with a phone number but now no one has to see your phone number which i think is amazing and i think it's really worth reiterating that the biggest issue hands down about the phone number requirement at least in my eyes and also for probably a lot of people is the fact that there's no way to message other people without freely sharing your phone number and i think that issue which is the biggest issue is now resolved if you still want a messenger it doesn't require a phone number there are other other options that are in our resources, but I do recommend Signal for a lot of people because it just nails that usability, privacy, and security balance so well. So I already registered for the beta because I wanted to claim a username for myself that I wanted. And so uh, that was kind of a, an incentive for me to hop on the beta. But once uh, the public release, which should hopefully come out within the next several weeks, uh, once that comes out, make sure to claim your username as soon as possible. So keep an eye out for your uh, Signal updates. Hopefully you're using automatic updates and you'll just get the update overnight. Now there are a couple caveats slash nuances to this feature that I'd like to cover. And again, I'm going to try to be brief. I don't have much time and I'd rather push this out. Um, so it's a little bit more time sensitive because I was working on that EU video a lot this week, but I still wanted to send you all this update. So a couple nuances. One, it's a little bit unclear who sees a username in what context and who still sees your phone number. Um, in one group chat, people saw that the number was hidden pretty quickly. Um, and then in another group chat, someone was still able to see one of our contacts phone numbers for a while, but they were not on the beta version. And so just keep in mind that people are using different versions of Signal. It's still in beta. Uh, we're still not seeing fully exactly just when everything updates on everybody's devices. But it does seem like uh, if you wait long enough and you restart your signal clients, it should hide things at a certain point from you. For or I guess your contacts won't be able to see your phone number after a certain amount of time. But just just so you know, this isn't like something that's super established yet. Let's wait for it to kind of uh, iron out before you actually 100% can guarantee that no one will see your phone number after you hide it. Our forum, which I'll leave a link to down below if you want to join a discussion about this, but someone left a nice comment here kind of summarizing this. So um, there's some bullet points here. One, usernames are only for discovery and not for identifying you afterwards. So it's really just to add you and it's not really an identification for you later. That's what your profile is for. And you can't sadly just do a username. It's a username plus a number and you can't to zero zero so it's zero one or above um, so it's not the cleanest looking username but it's just a way for people to essentially discover you um, now you can choose test a one and tell that to people but when they contact you with that username they're going to see again your display name so for me I have my username but then I also have my display name which can be totally different things now one thing that I'm still waiting on and a lot of people are still processing how this changes their workflow I'm already seeing some people who are um, consolidating some of their signal accounts if they use different signal accounts for different things but then again the username is for discovery and so if you're just going to publish this username online let's say you're a public figure or you're somebody who uses signal in order to have a large number of people possibly contact you um, if you publish your username online you still have that side effect of someone possibly just you know spamming your 
personal messenger. Um, and so there are actually, I don't know, I think that uh, as much as all of us are hyping up usernames, I think usernames are less of the selling point for me and it's more of the ability to hide your phone number, which is the bigger deal. But then again, how do you add someone without the phone number and it's having the username. And so I think that really the core selling point here is for contacts that you want to talk to, you now have the ability to talk to them without sharing with them your phone number or again you still have the option to have them add you by phone number so that's something else you can still have that option if someone has your phone number they can still type it in and find you but now you just have more options essentially to make your workflow a little bit cleaner depending on who you're talking to which I think is phenomenal I still don't want to post my signal username publicly on the internet because uh, I'm thinking back to matrix where you could message me on matrix and I would just wake up with 10 to 15 invites every day from random people which was obnoxious actually and there's no way for me to like sort through it or like preview the chat to see if it's worth it so my options were to accept the invite show the person I read it and leave or just deny all of them which is actually what I did so if you ever sent me a matrix invite without reaching out to me by email first to see if that was okay. Uh, that was why you were rejected every time. The other final nuance is there are some people that are kind of digging into the nitty gritty technical stuff of how this works. I'm not seeing anything that's super compelling to say this is a bad feature or the implementation is super poor, but there are just a couple things I'm trying to follow to keep tabs on to see if it's something that we need to concern ourselves with in the long run. And so far, I don't think it is, uh, but there are some people who are kind of discussing this. And again, I think if you want to keep up with that kind of discussion, I would join our forum down below because I think people We'll update that as time goes on with any updates that we have, as well as anything that we learn as this goes into public release. Anyway, again, just a quick video. I'm pretty stacked this week, so I couldn't do a full-fledged video, but I hope this at least helped you all uh, quickly see it. This is a feature. Those of you who want a fun username, go hop on that on the beta channel. Otherwise, you can just wait for public release. Hopefully, in the next few weeks, they'll have this out in the public release, and you can claim a username. And honestly, people, like, definitely, like, I know there's always going to be the people who say, oh, I don't know why it requires a phone number, despite people constantly telling them why it requires a phone number and people also telling them there are other messenger options that don't require a phone number if that's part of the threat model but if you're someone like me and you use signal as you're pretty much your personal messenger and behind the scenes that requires a phone number which i think is totally fine for my use case um this is huge news and i think that people really should be like celebrating this this is literally years of people asking for this feature quite literally years i am probably going to go support them a little bit for the next few months i cycle back and forth between being a signal supporter and not being a signal supporter but i think now that they rolled this out i'm going to go ahead and show them some support and be like hey you guys rolled out a cool feature i'm now going to be a supporter for a few months and hopefully they see a little uptick so if you also think this is a cool feature and you've been waiting for this at, at minimum just send them a nice message um, they're not a huge team they're not these corporate bureaucratic people and so um yeah like they'll appreciate that i'm sure anyway that's it just wanted to put out this quick video peace out y'all and i hope that you uh, enjoy this new update i know i will so see you next time on tech lore if you like these kind of updates join our patreon down below at patreon.com slash tech lore and i'm gonna leave a little video here with some signal tips that i that i personally like and utilize in my day-to-day -day life so check out that video see you next time on tech lore